Well, welcome to Windy Hill Kennel. We are located in Central Ohio. If you are new to YouTube with us or on our website, this is Autumn's Kids. Today is the last day of the month. So we're almost out of June and we're going to July. So we are behind, which I know you know because you've been waiting and waiting to see a video. So we're trying to catch up this week. Tomorrow is vet day though. And we have four litters going to the vet. So most of my day will be spent at the vet. So we're still behind, I think, a couple litters. But we're trying. Um, so we did weights. Allie helped me a little bit ago. And we did weights on these guys. Uh, microchip numbers. And honestly, their collars are so buried under the hair on these guys. I don't know if we're going to be able to find collar colors for you or not. But maybe with Allie's help, we'll find some of them. The chocolate ones are the worst. I mean, the Merles are a little bit easier because they have a little bit of different markings on some and they're easier to tell, but the chocolates are the hardest to figure out. All right, well, they finally cleared up out here. We've had horrible rainstorms off and on today and I'm standing under a tree and I'm getting sprinkled on because of what's left on the tree. All right, so let's get going. 8252 is a chocolate female and she has a wine colored collar on. She is three pounds, 11.5. 8259 is another chocolate, but this is a male. It's a neon green collar and it weighs four pounds, eight ounces. 8256 is a chocolate male with a red collar, weighs four pounds, 9.2. 8257 is a phantom, uh, chocolate phantom male with a yellow collar. And that one I know I can pretty much spot out. It's huge and it's the only fan I'm out here. Uh, 8259 is another chocolate Merle. It's a male, has a turquoise collar. It is five pounds, six ounces. And if I did not tell you the weight on the Phantom, which I think I forgot, it is six pounds, eight ounces. He is the bruiser of the bunch. Uh, 8251 is a chocolate Merle. It's got the really bright, bold markings right there in front of me shaking. Um, and she is a female. Yep, if she's a she, she's a female. And she's got a purple collar on. She's four pounds, 15.5. 8255 is a chocolate Merle. Male, forest green collar, four pounds, nine ounces. 8253 is a chocolate Merle male with a royal collar and he weighs five pounds, 15 ounces. So the phantom that's the big guy is right here under me. I know without even looking, he's the biggest one in this whole bunch. So uh, the green colored chocolate, the neon green collar is right there chewing the pink toy. <laughs> that one had a tough time getting up through there on that slide. Uh, oh, this one says, I'm gonna make it. Yoey. Oh, uh, let's see. Allie, can you spot collars for me? I can't see collars on purple. it. Yeah, the purple one we did, she's right there. Um, that one's neon green, and that one's red. That one's red. Okay, the red's sitting right there at the bottom of the slide. And the two on the string toys are the big, Mer the big phantom, and I can't tell what color you got on that one. Royal blue? Yeah. Royal blue is the chocolate Merle right there turning around in circles and trying to jump on the toy. Allie's walking around the other side. Who's got the rope toys? Uh, the forest green. Forest green is on the end of that rope toy. There, just swung around on the back side. That's the Merle. Oh, the Phantom just got thrown off. Um, the turquoise. Which one? The one. Um, closest to me. Okay, the one there on the right there is the turquoise collar on the end of the rope. The only one I haven't spotted is the wine color, but if we handle them anymore, they're gonna, don't lean over, because they're all gonna come and we'll never get them away from us. It's right there. The wine so the wine colored one is right there. It's the little one right there, which once it moves, you'll lose sight of it, I'm sure. So that's at least the broad spectrum of them. If we get too close and mess with them too much, they're gonna wanna pay attention to us and not stay away from us and you won't be able to see them. Uh, as close so I want to I want you to be able to watch them play I know it's been how oh, probably a week and a half at least since I were, was able to get pictures Allie gave him all the bath today uh, I can't remember if Vanessa did toenails today or not 
We've been so busy today. We've had supplies coming in and we were out of shots and syringes and all kind of stuff and all that stuff came in today. So um, that and all the bathing and the grooming we've been doing. Today we have no puppy pickups. We actually, that's so funny. There, oh, there it goes. Uh, we actually had puppy pickups all day yesterday, but none today and none tomorrow. So this is catch up day, except tomorrow's, I got some puppies going in for spay and neuters. Um, everything that we have, these guys, I think, and I can't, don't hold me to this. I didn't look at the calendar. I think they're going to be seven weeks old tomorrow. Um, so they've got two weeks before they go into the vet. So we're going to have our handfuls with these guys because they're going to be about nine weeks old when they go home, which is good. They'll get that much more training while they're here because right now they're obnoxious. So <laughs> we have to work our wonders on them. And, uh, they're typical obnoxious puppies at this stage. So they, uh, we're gonna split them up and put four in a kennel and they'll only get to see each other when they come back out here to play. I'm gonna move over here a little bit out of the shade because I had to brighten this up for you but I think it made it maybe a little bit yellow when I did that. There, it turned it back. Um, so they're gonna continue getting a bath every week. They'll get their toenails done. They will absolutely, I'm pretty sure, have their second shot before they go home with you, but that will be on your health card, so you'll know um, for your vet when you go, you can take that and he'll know everything we've done to these guys. They are strictly on dry dog food. Uh, they do get some cottage cheese and they um, are on, we're giving them raw bones this week. I try not to give them raw bones until right before a bath because they get so gross. They get really greasy, they get really gross and it just ruins their coat. And then their faces are all nasty. So we do we do gross stuff before bath day, but today they didn't get anything. And that gives you a better light on them. Um, coats on these guys are phenomenal. They look like polar bears. They're doing really good so far on uh, no biting, but we don't really give them a whole lot of chance to do that to us. We pretty much nip that in the bud right off the beginning of, of everything. So it makes it much, much better when we can start on them early and keep them from becoming nippy. My phone is fogging up. It's been in the air conditioner all day. Um, other than that, I don't have a whole lot to throw at you. I will tell you I will be sending out, I sent them out today. Um, the balances that will be due on your puppy. Please read the email. I sent it out through an email. If you didn't get it, please let me know. Um, it's, it will save you that payment. Uh, if you're going to do a charge card, just to kind of iterate. Now, never mind. I can't think of the word I want. Iterate. Iterate. Never. That's not it. <laughs> anyway. Um, I don't have a charge card machine here anymore. Uh, when COVID came along and everybody paid for it before they got here, I just got rid of my charge card machine. So please read your email. It will tell you how to do it, um, what your balance is. And uh, the cheapest way to go is by Venmo or Zelle because there's no fee attached whatsoever to your payment. PayPal and credit card have a 4% fee. So. Uh, check your emails. You should have that today uh, by the time I sent them out this morning. So by the time you see this video tonight, you will have hopefully seen your email. Um, and that doesn't have to be done right now. It can be done the night before you come to pick up um, while you've got a computer at home to do it from, however you want to do it, or you can do Zelle or Venmo from your phone when you're here. But um, I just want, kind of wanted to get those out to you ahead of time. So one other thing, if you're planning on using newspaper uh, for your puppy instead of wee-wee pads, I personally don't like wee-wee pads. They tear them up, they can chew the stuff out that's on the inside of them, and they shred them. I don't like them, I've never used them. And I've heard lots of people complain about wee-wee pads. So I use newspaper. And right now I have a truckload of newspaper. I have more than I will ever, ever use. So please let me know if you'd like some. There is a big bunch of it. I'm putting about probably 10 pounds in your puppy packet for you. Um, but if you would like to have more for down the road at home, since house training and crate training, you're gonna go through a lot of it. 
please don't be hesitant to ask me for more. Um, I'll be glad to give you all you want. I have gobs of it. That's all I can say is gobs of it. Um, golly, what can I say else? If you're getting your puppy by nanny, uh, please let me know so I can mark your file that you're coming by nanny. Also, if you are doing nanny, there's no um, tax. So um, that's one thing a lot of people didn't understand, but there is no fee with going home by a nanny. Uh, so if you are scheduled for a nanny pickup, uh, let me know and I'll mark it on your file so I don't do the packet and all that stuff here that I always send and I'll get a packet for her because uh, she'll bring you everything you would have gotten here. So I guess that's about all I can throw at you. I've sent you all your emails out. Uh, hopefully you've listened to those and that should have given you a lot of information, probably more than you wanted. Information overload. But I kind of like to give everybody as much information as I can to maybe make this transition a little bit easier for you because let's all face it, puppies are not easy. The first eight months is gonna be good times, bad times, and like, oh my golly, why did I do this? But if you are strict, you set down rules, boundaries, limitations, and you do not treat this dog like a baby, you will get along great. You just have to change your mindset from the way we've all done it for years. And yes, they're cute. Yes, they're cuddly, but they're piranha on four feet. They will demolish your house. They will ruin your carpet. They'll chew your earbuds and your flip-flops up. They're little devils at this age. So um, make sure you get them enough time to burn off their energy someplace to play that's safe for them to play outside um, if you do an X pin this is actually two and a half X pins hooked together it makes quite a big circle and um, if you buy an X pin do not get the size I use this is a 24 inch these puppies are going to be big so I would go a minimum 30 or a 34 inch tall. Yes, it looks like overkill when they're babies, but it won't be overkill very long. Oh, they're spinning the toys. That's so cute. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. I hope you've enjoyed their video. I will have another one for you next week because they're not going home for another week after this. And uh, so you'll get one more video next week and I'm hoping it doesn't get so blasted hot. We were uh, 101 heat index yesterday. And this morning, it literally was steam out here. And we had really hard rains a while ago. And it is a little cooler. And we're supposed to have a cool patch come up here this weekend, I guess. So, all right, I'm going to get out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed their video. Call me if you have any questions. If you have not booked in for puppy pickup, please do so. Because I'm this next week isn't bad the following week i am literally almost completely full and can almost i don't think i can take more than two people but the following week i think when these guys are going home everybody's kind of hanging out till the end of this week to book and if you don't book early you're gonna i only take five people a day so you're gonna book up and get yourself booked out of a day you really want or need so please give me a call and do that um I think you'll not regret booking in early and get the day you want, that's for sure, the way it's been. So have a good week, have a safe one, and we'll talk to you soon.